everybody and welcome once again to Lost Souls. I've been moving stuff around in preparation for today's episode. What I've been using is I've been using a diamond chest transporter and the recipe for that is fairly straightforward, just some sticks and a diamond. And then you can move chests around. Oops, let's have a look what I've done. Basically cleaned out this. Oh, I've got some flowers too. You'll notice some those have spawned. So I can actually harvest those and some more will spawn I guess. Like that. So that's one way of doing that. That one is obviously, I, can, I can't change the dirt on it, I don't think, and I can't break it, so I'll leave it like that. So in here, I've cleared out a bit and put all the, the bits and pieces into here. And I've got a few more chests that I want to stick into there, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Now the first thing we're going to do is make a key. Have some lavender and some primrose, okay. <laughs> so what I've got is the ender chest coming in here. So all of the... Well, the mob farms are producing stuff and they're putting it into here. So what I need to do now is to get that into these here. So what we're going to do is build, a, first of all, a storage drawers controller, which is a fairly straightforward recipe. Let's have a look at that. Uh, the one I want is draw controller, this one here. So I just need to, need to make two redstone comparators and a diamond. And the redstone comparators, I think, are fairly straightforward. Do I need... I think I need some... Quartz, some redstone, and a diamond. Huh? Let's try that again. Oh, torches I need. Yes, I do need torches. So I need six torches. Let's do that. And we should be able to make the comparators fairly straightforwardly. Like that, got two comparators. And then we just make this. I'm going to use the, the four drawers. They're slightly cheaper than the other ones, but it'll pick, it'll pick the other one by default, I think. Yeah, it always picks the, the more expensive one by default, so we'll use this one like this. So now we have a storage drawer controller. So we're going to put that down. And I'm going to feed that. So anything I've oops gone too far. So anything I've got in me, so I'm going to put it here, like that. And of course I'm going to have to put another drawer beside this. But the first thing I'm going to do is to make a key, a drawer's key, because they're always always very useful to lock stuff up when you don't want it. So this is basically this one I'm going to make. So I've already prepared the bits for that. So we've got one key. Then we just right click this key on the drawers and then we should get locked them all up so all the contents get locked up. First of all I'm going to put down this one here I think. What have we got here? Fours. Yes I've got fours. So I'll put that one there and I'll put the twos in this one here. I've got spare two. Like that. And we just lock and then we just right click this one here, we lock everything up. So all of those are now locked. As you can see, they've got a little keyhole on them. So now what we can do is we can feed this stuff from the ender chest into the storage drawer controller. So let's do that. So all I need for that is, um, what do I need? Item duct, so, so one item duct and one servo is probably basically all I need. I think I don't need to use the other item ducts where I've put them anyway, so I might go and change those. So we want to use the hammer on that just to remove or the yeah, the crescent tower just to remove these side bits like that. And then we can put the server down here and turn it on. So everything that is in here that can go in here will, should go out. Just to see if anything actually is moving. Oh, there we go. We've got an ender pole. So, so anything we haven't got space for is going to stay in here. As you can see, things are working. So obviously, swords, I don't really care about that much. So, And these arcane scrolls, I, I haven't used those yet either. I'm going to figure out how to use those. But I've got I've got some of those in one of these chests here. None of those three chests. None of those three chests. Where have I put them? I'm sure they're in here somewhere. Oh, I know where they are. So they should still be feeding, taking stuff out, and putting it into places. Hopefully, we've got lots of 
with the bones and with the with the ribs and all sorts of bits and pieces coming in. So that's getting tidied up slowly. So let's go over here and put the scrolls there in. Where are they gone to? <laughs> I've lost where I put them. I know where they are. They're up the top. They're in the. They're in here, aren't they? Nope. What have I done with those two? It's those two um, st storage units that were here. Do you know? I forgot what I've done with them. <laughs> Oops, that's a bit daft, isn't it? Anyway, there's something else I'm going to make while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to make a trash can. So we need a trash can. And there's several recipes for that. I'm going to use the... Spelled that wrong. No. Here we go. That's one type of trash can. It's not the one I'm going to make, though. Oh, this one I want to make, I think. Trash chest. Trash chest? No, I just want trash can. And I'm sure there's a trash can recipe. There we go, look. A trash can. So we can make two. There's only one to make one. Because I'm going to basically put that down and I'm going to throw the stuff in I don't want. So, for example, I don't want any of these stone swords. Just shift click those into place. You've got to be careful when you shift click, of course, because otherwise you might throw the wrong thing away. <laughs> Yeah, it would be bad. So I don't need any of this stuff in there. Scary that. Like that. And I don't need the quartz. I wonder if that can go somewhere else. No, it has to go on this side. So the next thing we can make. Let's have a look how many ender poles we've got in here. Seven. Oh, that's pretty good. So something's working, definitely. And you see what's being left here are basically tools. Uh, because I've got nowhere to put the tools. So we could get an arrow. We've got some arrows. We could put an arrow in one of these chests up here like that. And that would then feed the, this with arrows. I don't think I've got any anywhere else, have I? But they'll get dropped every once in a while. Let's put one in there like that. So any arrows that come in will disappear away. So as you can see, these should disappear. Yep, they are. It's slow, but it doesn't have to be fast because they don't come in that fast anyway, certainly at the moment. They will be later on, I reckon. So, ender pearls, let's have a look. I think I need about three because we're going to make some ender tanks because that's the next option for doing stuff like this. And I think we're going to have to make some cauldrons. Let's look, ender tanks. Yeah, we're going to have to make some cauldrons. We need to have three of these. Obsidian and blaze rods. And wool. I've got wool. Where do we put the wool? Up here. Just do three. Like that. So what I'm going to put in this is the X, liquid XP. And I'm not sure whether or not we can actually put a tap directly on one of those, but I've got a tap somewhere. So let's just put, for example, this one somewhere like, say that, for, there for instance. So we go over here now, we'll go, we'll go to the two uh, mob farms and put the other two up into place. And I'm pretty sure this will work fairly fairly easily. <laughs> I've got a feeling I don't need this here at all. So let's just take the crescent hammer here and remove this completely. It's a bit loud, of course. And just put on here the, one of those tanks. And I think this will fill up with XP. Let's have a look. If I turn it, if I right click this one around, does it pull it out of there? Has it got any in here? Let's have a look. Well, that's empty. And this one, it's got 14,000. Let's remove this as well. I think I don't need it. I'll just check, double check it in a second when we do that. What do I've got? 
I've got some wither bones picked up those. They must they can go back into here like this. Oh <laughs> there it is. That's where it went to. Good. I know what a pickaxe. Where have I put my pickaxe? Oh there. Can't see it for trying. Let's just pick up this one. And that'll of course ended up in here. It'll end up in here. Oops, try again. And I'm pretty certain that the XP will go straight into that ender tank. It doesn't say what I've got in here for the absorption of it. It looks like it's empty. So anyway, let's go and do the next one. Uh, and see how that goes. Fact. Right, let's click that one then, so I'll look, we've got in here. Still got nothing in there. Can't see if there's anything in here, it's too little I think. We could do it the other way around, we could actually do this one, because we know we're going to get in stuff in here, so we'll remove this. And then we'll pick up this end chest. Quite hard to bash those up actually. That'll have ended up in here of course. We can simply put the end of the chest down like that and see if it gets anything when the next mob comes along. I'm sure it will do. Just gotta wait a few seconds now, I guess. I'll tell you what we can do. We can put one of these into the hopper here, see what happens. It gets taken away. And sure enough, it gets put in here. So that's working definitely. And I think it'll also work with the, um, the fluids. I'm pretty certain it will. But I'm just a bit surprised we've not seen any XP being dropped. I, I suppose this isn't so good for XP, this one, the diamond one anyway. So let's go and put down the other two. Oh. Get away from that lot. I was trying to figure out why because this farm's going to be, I've got no uh, nothing on here, and I've got a few tips, of course. One of the tips was uh, I can put on here vector plates, and also my liquids told me I can stick on here redstone lamps, and that'll stop the mobs spawning. And I'll need to do that. So have a look how much XP we've got. Plenty of XP in this. Look at that. So let's try simply removing this one again. I might not be able to actually. I'll have to remove this, I think. Let's do that first. Because everything I drop will go into the hopper and go into the ender chest. <laughs> that's like that. Well, that's okay. We can leave that in the ender chest for now. And we can put down this ender tank here. See if that actually works. I want to remove this one. And put down the ender tank here. All we need to do is check this one if it's got any liquid in. It's very noisy. The only thing I'm not 100% sure certain about here is how these are going to work. Because this has got a pull and a push mode. If I right click that, it goes into it. I think that's a pull mode. But here, from here I can't see, so... Oh, we've got, oh, we got XP in here, now we can see that. So let's just try that, turning that around. <laughs> like that. Ah, so it's not coming into the chip. It's not coming into the tank. It's a bit strange, actually. Maybe it needs to be in a different position. All right, we'll put it this easy. We'll just put it back then. And I'll fix the other one later on in the other place. That. Of course, that'll be in here now. Let's pick that up and this wool as well. So we can now put those back again. Bit of a faff. But it's worth it. It's worthwhile testing this, really, in a way. You need to make sure it does work. Otherwise, uh, you find a big surprise, won't you? So I'll we'll turn that one off. Redstone disabled. So we can actually simply put the end of tank in here. Oh. 
And sure enough, that's got XP into it now. So, so the ender chest works anyway, and this doesn't work quite as I expected it to, which is a bit odd. Anyway, so we're getting plenty of XP from that. And I think the ender tether's working too. Let's go and double check that. That'd be a good idea to get a weapon in my hand. I reckon it's working because we... Did I do anything with that last time? I can't remember. Oh yeah, there's one. He keeps trying to teleport away, but he gets pulled back again. Even though you can't see him. And of course we're the end of the tank on here. Is it going any XP into that? Let's have a look. Yeah, that's picked up a bit of XP too, so that's... Uh, I could send that back. We'll leave that for the time being, I think. I'll take that with us. All those diamond swords. I think that's basically all we need from the Arcane Scroll Smite. Yeah, it's doing reasonably well. I'm quite happy with those farms. Right. I can hear all the, all those mobs being ground. It's funny. So the next thing I need to do is find a way to dispose of the um, things like the swords that I don't want. I don't, for the time being I'll do it manually because there won't be that many in there but uh, later on I can't do it that way. What have we got in here? I want to keep everything good. So I'll put these into here like that. Don't need those on us. And the XP thing. So I've got an XP tap I think. Now where is it? It's in one of those chests. And for I can't remember where I put those chests. Put the colours down here. They must be in here somewhere. Oh yes, here they are. Look, <laughs> well camouflaged. Right, I can put those up there now. So in here I've got an XP tap, and I wonder if that will actually go onto the um, ender tank. If it does, it would be great because that'll save one. That'll save a step, won't it? It might not go on the front. We could put it on the side here. Mm, right, click it. No, it doesn't work. So I've got three buckets of experience. So in that case, I'm going to have to put it into an ordinary tank. That's actually not such a big problem. I've got an ordinary tank here. I think this one's empty. Let's just put it down. And then we can turn this round, and then it'll push the liquid into here, which is great. As you see. And then I should be able to put this tap on it. How do I put the tap on this thing? How does this work? Oh. Well, I don't know. <laughs> There's no... Huh. Let's break that. Maybe I need a different type of tap, uh, tank for that thing. I could always put the XP orbs down here, of course. The experience pylons, I mean. They'll work. That one's got XP juice. That's got 60,000. That's got 14,000. Let's put this one down here like that. And I can put this tank back on top of the, the other one. And then I can actually click this the other way around. It should pull it. It's not pulling it. Brilliant. How do I get the XP out of here? There's no... I don't know. I'm not sure what type of tank I'm using. Oh, that's a look what mod this is. Mob grinding utilities. Okay. Let's have a look what we've got for mob grinding utilities. Now, he's got a singularity tank here. Now, what's that? That's fairly straightforward. With four pieces of iron. Let's, let's get one of those. I think that'll do. What's this one? An XP drain singularity tank. Actually, that might be even better. What do we need for that? Oh, two end. Okay, that's a bit expensive. Let's do this one to start with. Now, I reckon we can then push this stuff into here. How are we going to do that? Well, 
I'm not exactly sure, but we can try this. Let's put this onto this. Let's put this onto here. And let's put a let's put a fluid duct on here, and then pipe the output. I think this should pipe out. Yeah, it looks like it's going to work. Yep, sure enough, that's working. Oh, this is quite a big tank, isn't it? Look at the size of that thing. And the tap goes onto there. And so presumably I can right-click. Yep, I can right-click the tap. Well, that was fast. So I've now got 15 levels. I can also do this on this tank. I can, I can get it. spray orbs. They spray them quite slowly. Like I think I get about one level per per spray. Well, not quite. Very good. 20 levels. So what I can now do is I can up, up some of my things. What do we need to do? We need to do building, don't we? We need to get this up to... I think it was 32. So I've got 17 now. So I could put down the other one and remove this. I'm just thinking how to do this, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll leave that for now. So we've got that way of getting our XP out. So that took a bit of thinking about, didn't it? The other thing we can do with mob grinding utilities, of course, is to make a mob masher, this thing here. So this is reasonably block of iron, iron swords. We need two of those. Put another block of iron, block of redstone, three diamonds, and two more swords. It's fairly expensive, but this thing is really good. I th will also drop mobs XP. I think this thing is really is quite a good is quite a good one, and we can upgrade it with all sorts of things. So we can upgrade it with smite, sharpness, looting, fire aspect, which we don't think we need because uh, we're in the Nether. <laughs> Oh, that's Smite. That, that one's for mobs, basically. What's we got here? Bane Anthropods, that's for spiders. We don't need that. And that's beheading. So we can basically all do all of these things here. That's expensive because we need lots of gold and iron for that. Uh, we got plenty of iron, actually. Which is Smite, this one. Okay, that's Smite's fairly cheap. But that's good for grinding mobs. So I might prepare that for the next episode. I think. So, what have we done now? Let's have a look in here. Maybe I've got to clear this out a bit now. Uh, this end of chest here. I start, you see, I've got some more of these protection things. They're quite a lot of these. And I've got to figure out what to do with these. What else have I been told to do? Um, do you know, I didn't write them down this time. So I'm doing it from memory, which is probably a bad idea. But... Malakwa told me I can make a shard, a, a soul shard. Now I think there's a quest for that. And actually I haven't looked for the, at the quest for ages, so let's have a look at the quests. Because I know we've got a whole load that have been finished. You see, we could do RF tools, machine frame, industrial. We completed that latex one, that was good. Latex. And plastic. Oh yes, plastic. We've done the plastic, of course. Let's go and get the plastic. Now, so that's been on my to-do list for about three episodes now. So it should be in here. We've got 64 and 32. Uh, well, what, a stack and a half of plastic. Now we have to we have to prepare these, I think. And then we have, we'll look at the uses for this first of all. Yeah. Crafting. I can't do that on the table. Uses. So that'll give us 10 pieces of those, and then we cook these. Let's put those into here, take out the bread. Because the bread's always good, and where's the bread gone to? I've been using quite a bit of that, haven't I? Well, that looks it. And then we should get plastic. How many pieces of plastic do we need for this quest? Done, good. So back to the quests again. Extra additions, no. Where's he gone to? Thermal, no. We haven't collected that one either, industrial. Now we've got plastic. So we've done the latex, we've done that one, we've done the plastic. So we can claim our loot chest, done. So then we've got all of these opened up for us. Mob essence. 
So a mob crusher and a resource for resourceful furnace. Okay. And that will we also got to create some essence. One but I think that's a different essence than the one we we're getting from the mobs. Let's have a look. So what was that? A resource furnace. Resourceful furnace. Okay, four pieces of plastic. One machine frame, one gold gear, that's no big deal. Two furnaces. And a bucket. Oh, it's not too bad, is it? We can do one of those. And the other one was a mob crusher, wasn't it? Well, let's just check what we need for this. Oh, we've got enough uses for that one. Crusher. Now, I don't know if that was two words or not. Mob crusher, yes. Industrial forging. That's two more pieces of plastic and a sword. So that, we can do that because, well, because we've got enough of those things to do. So we need to make three gold gears and some books and some machine frames, which just blocks of iron. Okay. So we need two machine frames. It's time to do a few more of these quests, isn't it, really? Um, we go and put those in over here. And we just twist this thing around. It doesn't take very long. I don't know exactly how long it's going to take. Already done. <laughs> That's awesome, actually. It goes so fast. So look at, we haven't looked in the loot chest. Let's look in the loot chest. Oh, we've got some potions. Potions of Spiffner Speed 2. Regeneration 3 for 11 seconds. And this potion of absorption for 3 for 45 seconds. That would be pretty good. I'm not sure when we're going to use those next. And I need some space to put them. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Tell you what. I should go and put them in the... I should go and put them in the place now, shouldn't I? Let's go and do that. Oops, can't get through here. Actually, here we'll do for the time being, I think. Three. So we should have some more plastic prepared, so we need some more swords, don't we? Yep, yeah, we've got ten pieces of plastic now. Two machine frames. Some swords. How many swords, iron swords do we need? We need at least one. And we needed some furnaces. Now furnaces are really no big deal. I should have plenty of salt stone. I'm looking for, I've got two of these, yep. Yeah. I think we needed two furnaces, didn't we? We've got, pl oh, so now of course I've got to remember where I've put everything, of course, which is a bit of a nuisance. But I've got plenty of, where's it gone to? Nether bricks. And of course, I'm not going to remember where I've put anything in here for the time being. Oh, but, ah, they'll be up here, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll take it. We'll take what's this 51. It's more than we need. It doesn't matter very much. We'll also take so with us some gold. I need 12, don't I? So we'll put those 12 down like that. And then we'll just put these into the um, into here and put those into there like that. Take this out of here. We'll put in the oh gosh, my brain's gone to sleep today. Put we'll put the gear one. <laughs> we'll put the gear one in, and we can actually let that tick. Just, there's nothing in here except for gold, isn't there? So we can let that tick through, and then in here we'll end up with some gold gears three. So while we're preparing all the rest of the ingredients, let's have a look at that. So gold gears. So we've got the mob crusher, redstone, two books. Okay, books, let's prepare the books. So we need some paper. So we, we've got leather in there. We've got plenty of paper in here. Let's get the, that out of that and prepare some more books. <laughs> Why did it put the flower up there? One, two. Okay, so now I think we need a sword. And the other one was the furnace, wasn't it? The resourceful furnace. We've got two of those. 
it that way. Oh, we've got plenty actually, haven't I? Okay. Let's go put this put the rest of these things in here. Don't need those for the time being. Resourceful furnace. She just moved around. So what do we need for that? Just a bucket. Okay, bucket is three pieces of iron and three pieces of string, I think. So we just need to get the hammer out. Gonna have to make a new hammer soon. And then some string. I've moved all the string and it's outside of course it would be I need to find a better way of doing this as well and I think RF Tools has got some good stuff for this might only be two pieces of string that's got a nice way of sorting all of this stuff out if I'm not mistaken it's like this oh plenty of string and three plates yeah one bucket Wow, my memory's working for a change. So let's go and get the gears. They should be ready by now. Three gears. So now we should be able to make a resourceful furnace. This one up here. Yep. And we should also be able to make the mob crusher. Now, oh, red, oh I've got some redstone on me. Great. So those two are now made. So I'm not sure what we do with this yet. So it's got a base area of seven by three with by height. So I presume that means seven and accepts adult filters. Okay, so there's a filter for this one, is there? Industrial forging. So I presume I'm not sure what this one does. I'll have to research these two. Because I've never <laughs> like everything else in this pack, there's quite a lot of stuff, especially in version twelve that I've never seen before. So let's have a look at what we've done for quests as well. I'm doing one of want to kill a few quests off this time. Oh, I have got something else to show you. That's quite neat. Extra additions. Everything that's done, but we've got a load of stuff that's opened up. Stuff and things, we're already with that. Immersive tech. Well, we're still working on this stuff. I could do the better, the better steel. Getting food, tinkering. I haven't done anything with but I would like to do some reinforcement plates. Now that's dead easy. I think we've only got to make one to do that quest. Obsidian we've got plenty of at the moment. Well, plenty. We've got some obsidian at the moment. We just need two gold ingots. Or maybe just one aluminium brass ingot. Let's just try it. I think one, because that's a lot cheaper than gold anyway. So what we do, so we remove, we put that into, let's get this smelted first of all. And then turn that off and remove this thing here and put it up like that. And then when this is melted, which doesn't take too long, we can put it down. One ingot. But I think I need two ingots for this. I'm not. Oh no. Alright, so we have actually got a plate, a blank plate. I think you need two ingots of gold for that as well. And then we just need the obsidian here. Half of those, exactly half of those as it happens, because there were seven. We'll move this stuff, pull that back over there. And then we just take this and move it around the outside. We should get a reinforcement plate, and that should complete that quest, re reinforcement. And then with this, of course, we can then go and put this on one of our tools. And the one I want to put it on is this one. So at the moment it's got an ammo of 87 max. So we put it in, we then have an annual... Oh, we still have ammo of 87, but the durability should increase. So what's it say? Reinforcement 20%. 870 durability, and I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've got to do this five times. And then we get an unbreakable. Oh, it's changed. It doesn't look the same, does it? With a better luck with that, then we can get um, get up to five levels. How many levels? How many modifiers I've got on this now? So I've got two modifiers. I can add an extra modifier straight away with the tool, the iron toolkit, but for the, which I got as a quest reward. But I won't do that just yet. I want to get that one up to 
expert so it goes clumsy comfortable adept expert and then another layer after that and the nearest thing to this one is going to be this one we need to get another 600 or so, another 2000 1500 and that should go up there what have I got this machine did I make an extra machine frame no I didn't I think that was just something else anyway let's have a look at some more of these quests because I've done that one so we've gone that's one completed and we presumably get a loot chest we do let's claim that and done what else have we got that's opened at the moment it's just RF tools isn't it a machine frame. Let's see if we can do a machine frame. This one. Oh, well that's fairly straightforward. Probably can do that one over here. make 19 <laughs> machine frames and I've completed machine frame quest fantastic while we're doing that's look at this oh we've got another XP pile oh, that's a shame because I've got too many of those now already <laughs> so right let's have a look at the next thing to do um quests wasn't I f4 and I'm pretty sure well, I've got a loot chest again let's do that one done that one and this has opened up all of this stuff that we've got here as you can see and I th we got a builder auto crafting powered beacons faster traveling oh okay that would be good programming now what is that one do you know I don't know I've got to do some research on RF tools because it's been a long time since I've done it dimensional shards Actually, we can do that, I think. But what I would like to do is to get a pulverizer and things going, wouldn't I? Can we do a pulverizer? Actually, this one's fairly straightforward. So we just need two copper gears, don't we? Let's do that one. Because a pulverizer is, a, is also a good crusher. I wanted to do the uh, apply the. Um, which one is it? Can't remember the crusher. And we might be able to use that one to get the dimensional shard. So copper, four pieces and two gears. We need eight pieces, don't we? I'll just do this. And then we'll, I'll call it a day, I think, because while that's doing that, let's get the gear out of here. Put the gear down and turn this on. And that'll start to make two gears as soon as they're ready. Copper is quite fast. And then the other thing was that I might have even made that. See, copper goes very quick. Um, what was it? Redstone reception coil, I think, was the other one thing we needed. Let's just double check it. If it is, it'll be over here. It'll be the best place to do that one. Yeah, we can make a whole stack of those things. And then we should be able to make the pulverizer. A piston. Oh, we haven't done a piston yet. Got nothing in there for pistons except for one redstone. Which I think I've got the other, other one. And one piece of iron. Let's do that. Yep, yeah, fantastic. So, I've got loads of stuff on me that I don't really want now. Let's move these out of the way. We do need the machine frame the next episode what i'd like to do is to start to do some of the actual editions crushes and stuff like that because there's a whole load of quest lines for that as well i wanted the gears didn't i i got one and that was just set so we got the two now that's great so we should be able to make up the pulverizer indeed we can now, whether that completes the quest or not, I don't know. But this is really useful, so let's go and put this down. And, at the same time, take some another coal, because this is actually quite a good one. If I remember rightly, it was one of the best ones for this. Ah, 
Yes, there is something else I should be doing. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put, I'm going to put the coal inside it because we, we've got nothing to use it for at the moment. And I'm going to make some uh, flux duct because that was a quest as well. And we've actually got some flux duct. But probably be best making it in here, won't I? Flux duct. And I think we just have to make the leadstone flux duct. One piece of glass and I'll make 16 and that'll be sufficient. And I think that'll complete a quest. Indeed it is. Basic. Of course we can then should be able to connect, come along here. And connect this up to this power. So all I need to do is come around. I can't get around. Oh, okay, now I can get around. If we take the hammer here like this, right click this side, we've got an output. I think it goes, that's the output. So the other one was nothing. That's blue, that'll be an input. And orange will be an output. That's the standard colours for stuff, isn't it? So we take a flux, leadstone flux duct here. Put that down on the floor. It should connect up. And the power's coming in here and it's going to crush up the coal. And you can see the power is going right up to 20k or so thereabouts. Because there's plenty of power. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just take that one off. And sure enough, we get it. I think we get six pieces of coal per. Now, I was going to make last time. Well, I wasn't going to make it. I, was, I said I couldn't make it. But in fact, when I did my moving around the stuff, I said I needed blocks of coal and I haven't got much coal. I've got a stack of coal because it's 864. <laughs> so one stack will make about seven blocks. I think I need more, but... Uh, blocks of coal, look at that. That was really bad. So let's quickly go and do that. So that was a null dank I wanted to make, wasn't it? Or a dank null. And I want to make the gold one, because we've got plenty of gold. Could make the diamond one. Might be better. We only need four diamonds and a block of coal per, and some cyan stained glass. So that what we need is some cyan glass, which is basically blue and green, I think. There's other recipes for this. Let's go back. That drop, cyan floral. I don't want cyan floral, I want the other one. That's the... Yes, there we go. So so basically blue and green will make two cyan. So we've got green we got blue. That's that one. Let's get rid of this. I don't need any of this stuff on me, do I? Let's move this out of the way and we'll move these two. I don't know where I'm gonna put these for the time being. Um I could put them in here. I could put them up. Let's put them up here somewhere so we can then just give a bit more space. We can turn these on anyway. So I think that one's empty. And that one's got quite a lot in it. So, right, okay. Um, and green I should have too. Now, where did I put the green dye? I think it's outside again, of course. It won't be in any of those yet. It'll be somewhere like one of these. Maybe this one. I can't see it in there. I can't see it anywhere. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, I knew I'd got one. Good. So we can actually craft that in ourselves like this. Huh. Try. And try again. So we now get two cyan die. Uh, while I'm here, I'll actually just take some more coal with me, shouldn't I? Another stack. So now we need some diamonds, 16, I think we need 20, like that, it's 5 times 4. Come along here, we'll make some cyan glass to start with. We get 8 cyan glass, we only need 6. And then we can make some panes. 
16 panes and then we should be able to make this one and we need to make five of these can I make one for the time being um, let's put some stuff into here what am I short of? Coal, isn't it? Coal blocks. Let's just make some more coal blocks. I think this is the biggest thing. Anyway, let's have a look at the recipe for this one. So we can now make 11. 17. I haven't quite... Well, maybe I have. I've got enough, haven't I? missing what I've done wrong there I've got one two three and then we just basically need some more glass panes but we can certainly shift right one of those we need four of these good that's that done I can always break this coal back to nine bits so I don't have storage and it was just across wasn't it so we get our dank null Dank Null Mark 5. And you right click. Oh, I need something. What do I need? 26 building as that. Let's have a look. Gathering. Okay. So I need some more gathering. Got plenty of XP into here. Turn that around. <laughs> Okay, that's fair enough. That's spitting that XP for me. Turn it back again. I can do it on here. I can come along here. Which one? Are the ones? I've got lots of these. I'm now it's getting confusing as to which one. Let's get these done. The so gathering. So we need 14. I need. I won't have enough to now then. By the looks of it. But then these are finished with the pile, and so don't, this has got nothing. Oh, it's got some in actually. Let's spit these out as well. That's now gone. 14. I can do the next level. E. What do I need for this? 26 gathering. This one's doing quite nicely for me. Let's have a look. I'm not going to be able to use it this time. We'll try it. 14, yep, fine. So now I need another 15. So it's not. I don't think this is going to do it. Anyway, I've reached the end of my time for today. So, a bit of a, a different episode today. That looks fun, doesn't it? Anyway, until next time. Oh, actually, I can do it now, can't I? I wish you all the best. And we shall go and do some. Um, crushers and whatever. I can't remember the actual edition stuff. Anyway, until then, bye for now.